um, just a chart I'd like to take you through. This is one of my favourite pairs to trade when we get in this situation. It's a very rare opportunity that pops up every couple of years, and it's the US dollar versus the Hong Kong dollar. So um, it's a quick history lesson on this pair is that the Hong Kong dollar was pegged uh, in the 80s to 78 Hong Kong dollars to US dollar. Now, they've extended the band since 2005, so we have an upper range uh, at 785. I'll just put a line in there. And there's a lower range at 775. So this is the range that the Hong Kong Monetary Authority will allow this currency pair to trade in. And they've, as part of their mandate um, to keep this stable, if I zoom out, you can, be, you can see it's been going for – you know, a fairly long time since um, since 2005. Basically, this this peg has held on the upper and lower bands here. So um, enough of the history lesson. Let's see how we can trade this and the rare opportunity we have right at this moment. So um, if you look back to 2009, you can see it's hit the lower band. Little cut of push throughs, um, bouncing off. Same again in 2015. We've gone and hit the upper band in 2018 where it's come off a bit. There's a few interventions to try to get it off. It's taken a while. Um, so if we look at from March 18 to May 20, so over a year it was kind of pressing up against that top band with some you know spikes down every now and again. Now, um, another one of the lower band at the start of the pandemic, which has really bounced off here as the US dollar shown a lot of strength in the last year or so. Um, so if we look at it now, this is – I'll go to a daily chart. We can see it's pressing up against that upper band now. Um, so this hasn't happened since the pandemic and hasn't pressed – it hasn't actually tested the upper bands for, for th over three years. So way you can trade this, and I trade this myself, and it's one of my favourites. Always keep an eye on this currency pair to see when it's going to happen. Um this band here, I mean, it's not like the, the Swiss bank peg that they had on the euro a few years ago. This is um, a range that's been set for a long time. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority is never giving any reason to think it's not going to hold. Saying that, never say never. Um, but from past history, they've been pretty resolute in keeping this, um, this band alive. So the way to trade this, you can see, is that once it hits this band, it just can't go any higher. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority is actually actively making sure of that. So two ways of trading it. We can go short um, as it comes to the top of the band here with some take profits further down. You can see the lows of these kind of um, dip downs at 84.50, so about 50 pips. Uh, you can set it a bit higher up. You take profit if you feel like you'd rather be in and out more often or you don't want to wait for these bigger moves. Um, that would be the way that – I trade it. The other option is if, if you are worried that this band will break, um, what you can do is just set buy, buy limits a bit lower down. So once it pops down, buy in with the expectation of my head back up to that peg. Now, this so far has gone on since um, May. So we're only just under three months into this. If we look at past history, we can see that normally it, it takes a lot longer for um, the move off these pegs. So this one was from 18 uh, September to – from March to September, six months, and then again from March until end of May. Uh, and you can see that it, as, a, as a whole, it, it basically was from 18 to, to 19. So I think there's probably a little bit more – pressure on here. I can't see it coming off uh, anytime soon, especially with how strong the US dollar is and, and the rate differentials we're seeing from the US and, and with every other currency, basically. So um, it's a difficult one to find a trade. Luckily, Go Marcus does have the US dollar, Hong Kong dollar. A lot of brokers don't offer it. So um, have a look. It's an unusual currency pair. It's the only one I know that is like this. Um, and it's, it's as far as I can see, it's a very rare opportunity. So take a good look at it. If you Thanks for watching.